Uh, all right, here we go with our rain amounts. Uh, this is just since midnight. So down in Salem, you add about uh, four tenths of an inch of rain to that. So you're now over six tenths of an inch. Portland, uh, add to what we fell yesterday, we're nearing about a half of an inch of rain. And already just since midnight, 99 one hundredths of an inch in North Bend. So again, this is... I mean, it started over the weekend. This rain is still going to be with us all the way through Wednesday into Thursday. So the big headline was always a long stretch of rainy weather, not overly intense, not enough to produce any watchers or warnings or advisory. So that's good news. Out and about traveling today, you're simply going to find the wet weather. Winds were noticeably breezy yesterday from the southeast. We'll have that same uh, 15, 20, 25 mile per hour, uh, maybe south gust of 30 during the day at times today. Again, the storm engine, this low out here, it's going to send one little push of a, a surface front end later tonight, and then the stronger back end of this system is what comes through Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And I think in terms of a period of time where that's absolutely the heaviest rain rates that we're going to see, that's when I expect that Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. But you can see the fats of moisture coming up from south to north, working across our area. And we have lightning that's been pretty consistent offshore as you near proximity of that low center. And again, you folks at the coast, maybe you have some thunder and lightning today. Rainy all the way up to Seattle and rainy down to I-5. It's fairly light. You see I-5 is kind of on the the edge of uh, before you start to get dry right now. Just some very light stuff falling up over the Cascades. Futurecast does not show it's going to be raining every single second of the day, but I also believe that much of this dry time that Futurecast is showing, here's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, there could be still some light, misty, light rain falling that it's not picking up. Heavier rain ban offshore at 3 o'clock, and then we get some heavier rain pockets eventually uh, coming in this evening. So we'll keep an eye on all of that. So how much rain are we talking about? Now keep in mind, Portland is already nearing a half of an inch going back to yesterday. This gives us an inch and a half yet to come through noon. So the rain totals we talked about last week in terms of the entire episode of four days or so about two inches in the valley three inches or maybe more than that along the coast those figures seem to be intact this shows uh, what another two and a half inches uh, plus falling in Lincoln City and then again not huge amounts but beneficial rains expected in the gauges across all of Oregon and up into much of Washington in the coming days visibility in downtown Portland not too bad streets are wet I didn't think it was that bad when I was driving in 60 degrees the temperature outside Numbers are going to hold fairly steady in the 60s today, temperature-wise. A little cooler in Salem, 58, 56 out in the Dallas. By the way, it's a south wind, so that means that the gorge, the mountains pr protect the gorge so you folks won't see much wind. It'll be breezier in the valley. There's that thunderstorm threat at the coast today. We'll keep an eye on that. Otherwise, it's rain at times in the valley. The breezy south winds, peak gusts potentially up to 35. Everybody has rain in the forecast except for down in Burns and Baker City and even John Day could be dry. Otherwise, we've got rain in the state. I do have a dry weekend upcoming. That's perfect. Pardon me. Perfect timing, wouldn't you say? That's your forecast on a Monday. We'll be back. More sunrise coming up.